What is going on, you guys? Steve with the video for you today. So today we're going to do a player spotlight of the player Diego Sigui. But first, let's do a channel shout out and let's shout out the channel A Collector's Dream. Orlando over there on his channel. Now, Orlando, you know, you get a quite a bit of mixed bag with him. Um, mostly strictly a vintage channel. But, uh, you know, he does get he does reach outside of baseball and you see him do all sorts of different, you know, even fun non hobby t or non uh, baseball type cards and. You know, his latest one that I just watched, uh, he had a couple of really cool cards of uh, Walt Disney on there. So that's kind of cool to see. But yeah, you know, he gets into a lot of pre-war, a lot of vintage, up to, uh, you know, you see a lot of 60s and 70s as well. And uh, you don't really see him bump too much past that. But uh, yeah, uh, please go check him out. I know he's a local Florida guy for, you know, you people that live in Florida, obviously not me. But uh, yeah. Link to the channel in my description. So let's get into some uh, Diego Segui here. So here we got his uh, 1970 Tops card. There you can see he signed it right down there. And right over here we have his 1963 Tops uh, rookie card. Really like this autograph one over here. You know, with that Seattle Pilots. I don't know, and the image is really nice. You know, and over here on his rookie card, just the red just matches really well. Really like that card. So a little bit about Diego Sigui. I always want to say David Sigui, which is, uh, we'll get into that later. Uh, Diego Sigui was born on August 17th, 1937 in, if I'm going to say this right, Holguin, Cuba, which is also why I chose Orlando for this. He's a big uh, Cuban collector guy. I think his uh, heritage and roots come from Cuba. So Diego Sigui is currently 86 years old. And, you know, he, do, he does have some nice looking cards to me. So he grew up on a farm in Cuba, and him and some other uh, kids around the farmhouses would uh, play six-on-six -six baseball in a field. And with him uh, always, you know, having a strong arm, he would always play pitcher. So Diego Segui was signed by the Cincinnati Reds in 1958 after being found by the scout Al Zarilla but was quickly released a few months later, and he spent uh, the 1958 season pitching in a private Arizona-slash-Mexico league. He ended up signing with the uh, Kansas City Athletics on September 26, 1958, and he spent a few years in the uh, A's farm system, where uh, until he made the A's opening day roster in 1962. There you can see, you know, that's like one of those airbrush check cards. Uh, and I think this is a high number. You know, I rarely show the back of cards. He made his uh, Major League debut on April 12th, 1962 with the Kansas City Athletics against the Minnesota Twins where he came, where he came in as a relief pitcher for starting pitcher Norm Bass in the fourth inning and he pitched one and two-third innings and allowed one hit and he also got one strikeout. Throughout uh, Diego C's 15-year Major League base Baseball career, he played nine seasons with the Oakland Kansas City Athletics, two with the St. Louis Cardinals, two with the Red Sox, one with the Seattle Pilots, which I got the card right here, and one with the Washington Senators, and one with the Seattle Mariners. So a fun fact about that kind of is, I think he's actually the only player to... Uh, Play for the Seattle Pilots and the Seattle Mariners. If I was looking at that right, if not, I apologize. Uh, his career stats, he had 92 career wins, 111 losses, 71 saves, a 3.81 ERA, and 1,298 strikeouts. His career highlights, let's see, in 1970, uh, he, held, he uh, led the Major League Baseball with a 2.56 ERA, and he was inducted into the Venezuelan Baseball Hall of Fame in 2003. A little couple uh, fun facts about him. He was actually a natural left-hander, but he switched to being right-handed in his youth. And he is the father of uh, David Sigi, who I grew up watching. And, uh, you know, David Sigi had a long, long and good career. He's also a, f a future player spotlight for me. And he's a uh, fork. Forkball specialist Diego Segui is. 
Um, my final thoughts, obviously, I'm not... I don't know, let's go back to this one. I really like the American flag in the background on that one. It's just really cool to me. Final thoughts on him. You know, I'm way too young to uh, ever see him play, but I did, you know, enjoy reading up on him, and it sounds like he, you know, he was solid there for a few years, and I don't know, that ERA is, you know, his career ERA is not terrible, so, yeah, you know, it's just kind of a fun read up, and his cards are super affordable, and, you know, it's great he's still alive and well with us at 86 years old. So here is Seattle Mariners one. There you can see her right next to the Seattle Pilots. So yeah, please go check out uh, Orlando Collector's Dream. Appreciate you guys watching, and take care and stay safe, everybody. Thanks again.